good day to you and welcome to my blog and this is under my garage um, what you're looking at is there is a all-wheel drive code that has popped up and a four-wheel drive code that's picked up and it's got an explanation point after it I'm not sure what it is I can't find it on my scanner the only thing I can assume is that I have mismatched tires on him. And the rears are 230, 225-65 16s. The front ones are 225-75 16s. So what I'm assuming is because they are mismatched the anti-skid system is reading different speeds and that's going to affect your anti-skid system because um, it reads it it reads the speed of the wheel rotation even though it didn't hasn't kicked out ABS but I don't have cruise control either so that light there being full where this is four wheel drive that probably has wiped out the anti skid uh, system. And I've noticed when I've started up and go down the road, it feels a little rough, even though I don't have it in four wheel drive. Um, but all of a sudden, it'll that light will come on, and I believe it takes the four wheel drive out. And then everything smooths back out as if I was in four-wheel drive. Um, but again, I don't have cruise control either. So my next project here is going to be getting the right tires, right size tires on here. Right now I got symptoms of the uh, anti skid kicking in. That cool. Weird. Yeah, nice kid. Right. Good job, boys. Finally. Alright. Even though we're still all cool here. I got vibration and whatever as if the anti skid is kicked in and it's holding on to. It's gripping because of uh, speed, but I don't have a I don't have a flashing anti-skid light. Um, okay, four-wheel drive. The four-wheel drive light just kicked in, so it's telling me that it's now kicked out. Uh, and this is what's happening when I got mismatched tires all-wheel drive or should I say anti-skid vehicle you have you've got to have the same size tires and I didn't think anything about it when I put them on here so uh, now that the anti-skid is fixed which wound up being a well originally was a bad bearing and then it wound up being a bad cable so now that that has happened, now that the all uh, four wheel drive is kicked out, I don't have anti skid or uh, I don't have cruise control now. So I'm on my way down to Wilberts to get the correct tires. Hopefully, and I had them when I was down there last week, and I'm always trying to save a buck so. Saving a buck wound up not saving a buck. I should have just got those four tires. This time I'm bringing the rims down for uh, aluminum, rim, uh, aluminum rims to replace the rims that are on the tires so I don't get charged. Uh, so that's where I'm at right now. Stay tuned, and if I'm if I'm correct. 
once I get those correct, get the mat, get matching tires on here, that four wheel drive issue will go away. All right. Well, we're leaving, leaving Wilberts now. I got my tires, and they are the right ones this time. All four of them, and they're all pretty darn new. They also, the other thing I got was the receiver, which you saw. Well, this will be continuation of that anyway. Um, as I did, this is just a follow-up that the universal one that I had from Reese would not fit. So this one has been taken off of a 200, Chrysler 200. And uh, hopefully it will match up with this, with the uh, subframe on this. Um, I'm gonna say subframe. I tried, there was two, there was no compasses with uh, tow bars on them, um, but there was two Patriots and unfortunately the this was this was rusted beyond as far as I was concerned and I couldn't believe how you know clean clean this was off of a 2010 uh, 200 so with all that said I had four four uh, rims or yeah four aluminum rims that I brought in and that isn't even it what the heck is that <laughs> what did I do with the receipt? Um, there it is. So, in the in the end, he gave me core charges, um, aluminum rims, eighteen dollars a piece off of those. Um, the trailer hitch he charged me 30 bucks for which if you go to find it on eBay used or whatever they want a hundred dollars at least a hundred dollars um, It was a hundred and five um, For the four four aluminum rims and then cores 18 a piece So I wish I'd done this Last week and I wouldn't be back well <laughs> It, it kind of worked out because I came back and I had the tools to get the receiver. So, there we are. Hey, Dana, and we're in my garage. And this is a continuation of trying to figure out why the four wheel drive system keeps kicking in on this 08 Jeep Compass. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put the matching tires in the front now to match the back and uh i suspect that's my problem because these are quote quote taller tires than the rear ones and they're going to sense since you have a difference in your uh four wheel drive if not that means i've got another another issue stay tuned hey danny welcome to my vlog well this is a continuation. I just changed, I just put the matching tires on the front from the rear. And I got running under here. I was spraying stuff with the uh I just do it. I bought a can of this blaster surface shield. <laughs> I started spraying everything that had rust on it. And I'm coming up front. And I'm looking, I'm looking, and well, this isn't blaster. This isn't blaster. And that isn't blaster. I have transmission cooler lines that are leaking. So guess what? That's my next project on this thing. Ah, stay tuned for that. Wow, what a difference right off the bat. Smooth as glass now, straight as an arrow. And no, <laughs> I wasn't getting any of that jitter jitter takeoff I could feel right away there was no issue the wheels are they're even actually straight even though I got that bad uh, foul joint wow and no and 
no four wheel drive issue. It's gone. No kick in or anything. So, there's your answer to that. If you have mismatched tires, guess what? You're going to have issues with your uh, four wheel drive system. I suspected it was because of mismatched tires. So. And anyway, that takes care of that. Now, <laughs> I got a, I got a uh, transmission cooler line that's leaking now. Always something. Alright, so. Thanks for watching. Hit like. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. And share. Man. I didn't feel any restriction when I was taken off out of the driveway like I did the last couple of times here. Rest. <laughs> uh, now all I got is that freaking check engine light for a small vacuum leak. I'm gonna have to work on that when I get me a. I want. I gotta get me a smoker. But no, no issues. Picking right up. Growly, no growling. Or I'm able to put four wheel drive on. Four wheel drive out. And I have cruise control. <laughs> Catch you on the next in his garage. Project Chief. <laughs>